Newton's second law of motion is commonly referred to as the law of acceleration. Simply stated, it says that if a net external force is exerted on an object, the object will accelerate in the direction of the net external force, and its acceleration will be directly proportional to the net external force, and inversely proportional to its mass. This can be stated mathematically as the net external force equals the mass of the object times the instantaneous acceleration of the object. How can we apply Newton's second law of motion to analyze a runner's performance? Consider this scenario. A 52 kilogram runner is running forward at 5 meters per second when his foot strikes the ground. The vertical ground reaction force acting under his foot at this instant is 1,800 newtons. The friction force acting under his foot is a 300 newton braking force. These are the only external forces acting on the runner other than gravity. What is the runner's vertical acceleration as a result of these forces? First, let's list the known quantities and the quantities that can be derived easily. The mass of the runner is 52 kilograms. The vertical ground reaction force is 1,800 newtons. The friction force is 300 newtons. We can also determine the weight of the runner in newtons by multiplying the runner's mass, 52 kilograms, by the gravitational constant 9.81 meters per second squared. The weight of the runner is 510 newtons. Second, let's determine the unknown variable the problem asks for. In this case, it's the runner's vertical acceleration. Third, let's determine which formula we can use. Since we are looking for the vertical acceleration, Newton's second law of motion applies. Acceleration is the effect of forces. Net external force equals mass times acceleration, which can also be stated as net external force equals the vertical ground reaction force minus weight. Finally, we can substitute our known quantities for the variables. 1,800 newtons minus 510 newtons equals 52 kilograms times vertical acceleration. Subtracting 510 newtons from 1,800 newtons, we have 1,290 n on the left side. We further simplify by dividing both sides by 52 kg, leaving vertical acceleration equals 1,290 newtons divided by 52 kilograms. By solving the problem, we can determine that the runner's vertical acceleration is 24.8 meters per second squared. The answer 24.8 meters per second squared is about two and a half times the acceleration due to gravity, 2.5 grams, or two and a half times the weight of the runner. This is about right for the impact phase of a running stride. The number is positive, so it indicates an upward acceleration. The runner's downward velocity is slowed down as the foot strikes the ground.